What's that, Joa? You know what time it is? It is time for the GSL Code A, if I'm not mistaken. You are not mistaken. I'm not In at fact, all. In fact, you're absolutely right. It is time for GSL Code A once again. It is the first day of the round of 16. That's right. No more players getting knocked out of GSL completely, but the stakes are even higher now. The players that win today go on to the round of eight, which means they get to compete in the up and down matches at the end of the season. And the players who do not win today are out, but still in code A for next season. So a little bit of the pressure's off, but not much. Yeah, man, this is going to be totally awesome today. That's right. We do have the round of 16, so people that are eliminated, they get to stay in GSL. They're still going to be in code A next season. But this is almost, this is like, you know, the real prize right here because yeah. if you beat your opponent today, you're going to the up and down matches, and that is really where you want. That's the point of Code A You've is got to a get to those up and down S. matches to try and get into Code S. Yeah. Even if you win the Code A tournament, you get as much prize money as being in the round of 32 knocked out in the first round of Code S. Pretty much. So, yeah. exactly, actually, it's exactly the same prize. So, um,. That is really what you want to do, is try and get into Code S. I mean, that's where the fame is. That's where the money is. We're going to check out the match results from uh, this last week and uh, see how the players got here. There they are. We've got, from last week, Von Von Zenith defeating Slayers Brown 2-1. to one. We have Choi Ofo, you knocked out of GSL, a familiar face for many seasons by Keen MVP, or MVP Keen, however you want to say it. And then we did have Zenex Coca playing extremely well and taking down Startail Squirtle in a bit of an upset there as well. And MVP Noble S, 2-1 over Hozo Tassadar. There you go. Now today's matches. Oh, I'm excited about this Moltrap. We've got MMA versus Hyperdub and Nuts versus Bomber. We also have Creator, who took out my boy Lenok, ah, versus Slayers Young, And then Slayers Boxer versus TSL Alive. It's going to be a pretty awesome day. And if I do say so myself, you're looking pretty snazzy today, Moltrap. Yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, maybe we should just uh, hmm. address the elephant in the room and just, the dress. just acknowledge publicly that we know, don't worry, you don't have to tell us, we know that we are the slickest we have ever looked. We know we look good. You don't need to the tell us. The most stylish day of GSL it. history. It's right. okay. We're aware of it. Um, yep. Yeah, we're trying out some new stuff. Let us know what you think. We are going to be uh, seeing some awesome matches today. We will be. I know a lot It'll of people are going to tune in just for Boxer, and that is what I would do too, maybe. But really? Well, no, no, no. Let me finish. Let me okay, finish. Okay, all right. I'm but waiting. I want to tell those of you that don't know, who maybe haven't been following Code A up until now, that a lot of the players today are actually really, really sick. I mean, some they of the are. guys today are ranked really high in ELO. We got the top, you know, 15 of the ladder. Some of them are playing today. Bomber's way up there. Yeah, Bomber's yep. way up there. I think Ryung is, like, up there, too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, so we're going to have some sick, sick play today. A lot of the newbies, like Line, maybe Tassadar, have been eliminated. It's nothing but Gosus from here on out. So I am really, really excited about today's matches. Yeah, all the matches are probably going to be extremely good. And it's actually a bit of a, a TVP day. You know, TVP yep, and TVP. It is Terran day, but... No uh, Zerks today. Sorry, but it's going to be let's great. Let's get into our first TVT. All right, here we go. Let's get this started. We've got our red Terran player down at the bottom of Metalopolis. Some call him the son of Boxer. He is. Slay us, enemy. Not the actual son, just the proverbial son of Boxer. Like Neo Boxer, if you will. There he is, wearing his coat like a cape. Like the cape of a tiny emperor. <laughs> I like that a lot. Look at this. Uh, actually, I don't know why his uh, headphones were red. He's not really moving uh, his fingers very much right now. I guess he's not a fan of spamming. Maybe just clicking really fast. Who knows? Maybe he was clicking very fast. That's true. Maybe he spams his, uh, his clicking. Maybe. MMA, of course, uh, known as a very, very good Terran player. But here's his opponent. Former Code S player. He's been around for a long time. Plays for OGS. He is our blue Terran up at the 12 o'clock position. He is... OGS Hyperdub. OGS Hyperdub. Yeah. Definitely a force to be reckoned with. Now, I'm, I'm a little curious to see how this goes. I think MMA is definitely the favorite here. Just because Hyperdub hasn't been playing as well lately. He hasn't been doing quite as good. MMA is like, you know, some, you know the new boxer or whatever. He's a prodigy coming up. He's uh -huh. doing super, super well, but 
TVT is actually not his best matchup. Uh, he's only 5-4 and four in TVT. Now, he did beat MVP in an epic game in the GSTL. He also yeah. lost to Bomber. He, he's kind of had middling success in TVT, so a little bit worried for him. You know, this guy is a really good at the other two matchups. Not as good at TVT, so uh, we might see a real rising star. Maybe have to wait till he gets a better matchup next season here. Yeah, I'm really kind of curious to see how this all ends up. Just because Hyperdub is one of those names, too, that's been around for a long time. Yeah, Since a lot of the experience. very first couple seasons of GSL. Um, in fact, I believe it was the first season of GSL that Hyperdub, Hyperdub knocked out uh, TLO. So yeah. that's a, a, yeah, that's a big reason his, a lot of uh, people remember him. Yeah, But that two racks and cheese at the end of game, uh, or at the at game three. So. Okay. Looks like we have yeah. MMA, MMA trying to do some scouting. Turning around, we see some marine and a uh, pretty quick tech lab for MMA as well. Yeah. Now, oh, Hyperdub, of course, now that I mentioned I mentioned MMA, is not the best oh, at it, but uh, Hyperdub is actually oh, really right, bad. Oh. Whoa, I can't believe that SCV escaped. He's just well, he walked might. up there, nope, shook his little SCV booty in front of MMA's marine and ran. Yeah, that, that uh, SCV was just boogie-woogie and uh, That's right. out of the way of those... He shook what the Terran commander gave him. Oh yeah. Uh, in other news, Hyperdub is actually horrible at TVT really? statistically. Yeah, he's only uh, three. And, I'm sorry, four and seven. He actually just got knocked out by last season by someone. Actually, I thought I wrote it down. I don't have it here for some reason. He just decided to knock himself. Oh, Rain. Oh, Rain. Yeah, Rain owned him 0-2 oh. in the up and down matches last season. So. Oh, whoa, whoa! Did you just see what whoa. I just saw? That was a very fast Ghost Academy. It is. This and, is actually really uh, huh. interesting. I've, I've seen this before, not for a while, Yeah. but it can actually have really good effect with a Ghost Rush because what you do is you can go in there and if you have a couple Ghosts, you can actually do several snipes on the enemy Marines. And if they don't have any mech units out yet, you can, you know, if it's like five Marines against three Marines and two Ghosts or something like that, or even six Marines, a few Snipes will take out most of the health of a few of the Marines, and then your Marines can wipe up. So it's actually kind of a cool move there. Yeah, this is one of those openings we see every once in a great while, and I love seeing it. There was a Korean player way back when StarCraft II came out, way back a whole, like, almost a year ago, um, and I believe his name was Acupuncture Zenith, but he was a Zenith, and he was known for doing this opening. That's kind of how that became kind of popularized, but no, it is a nuke being researched. Whoa! Hyper by Dub. Hyper Dub. Hyper Dub, I think I'm in love. <laughs> oh, Hyper Dub. Wow. Wow. So, all right, we have. Uh, um. Uh, well, I'm I'm pretty sure that MMA is not expecting that, and there's and SCVs coming setting, off the line. What is oh, going gonna, on here? He's gonna block for the ghost with the SCVs and nuke. Is he gonna try and nuke the front door? Maybe. Is this, is this actually going to work? Now, now I, MMA only I, scouted I the, the the reactor fair, uh, factory. Yeah, he has and actually, no idea. He just sent his Reaper in again to scout. Doesn't see anything else. That's a good amount of Hellions too for Hyperdub. Yeah, this he's is... he's got reactor Hellions coming out, and that's gonna actually hold off any bio. And no, oh, boom! Goodbye, Hellion. This is amazing. I mean, goodbye, Reaper. Uh, wow. Uh, Huh. Concussive shells is almost done for some reason. Scan. Is the nuke going to no. start? Where's the nuke? Where's the nuke? Gonna, oh, oh, he's going to snipe. And then the nuke the lays nuke. down, and he's going to just distract with the SCVs and the Hellions while the nuke lands. This uh, nuke is actually going to do virtually no damage, though, because huh. he's not going to hit the bear. He's only going to hit the bear SCV. slightly. That one SCV is Oh, no! And oh. Okay, that was a little bit preemptive. And that nuke killed one SCV. A very Last huh. way to enter the front door, though. So, yeah. Running in, trying to do as much damage as he can with these Hellions. Hellions uh, doing massive damage to the SCVs. He's having to pull more. Whoa. And wow. Huh. So, uh, a lot of SCVs dying there, but man, that like you said, that was the flashiest way I've ever seen to get into someone's base early in the game. Yeah, Nuclear that was, missile and then out of the clouds. That was a arm. little overkill yeah. uh, in a way, though. I don't He's know if it's going to work. Hellions. Yeah, the Hellions taking a lot of damage there. He's adding on some more Hellions, but as MMA adds some Marauders on there, I'm not sure how well this is going to work, actually. Um, definitely flashy. Uh, he's got a lot of style, I'll give him that, but yeah, I, mean, um, I, I, think, I don't know. I think he was just going to try and, I mean, you nuke the ramp so that they don't have that high ground advantage, and right, uh, you know, they can't get a concave on the end of the ramp. And then right when it went off, he charged up with the Hellions, yeah. and if he'd only had Marines and SCVs, Hellions would actually have done a lot more, a couple uh, Marauder or two in the mix, though. Uh, plus some, a little bit more control by Hyperdub. Hold that thought, he's actually trying to break up again. This is probably his last chance to get in. Yeah. Uh, but he is, he is actually doing a lot of damage to the SCV count. 
Yeah, you could kill all four of those, in fact. Getting oh. another one, and... Oh, misfiring a little bit. Looks wow. Like might be able to get nothing else. And, and even though though. he seems to be failing at all these attacks, he actually is up 23 to 16 SCV, so huh. he's actually done a lot, and he's actually going for a Banshee to call this up. Yeah, Cloak Man too. So Hyperdub is just all over the place. Ghosts, Nukes, Hellions, Cloak Banshees. MMA just does not know what he's running into right now. So when this type of thing happens, the best thing to do is just to try to play as standard as possible. Don't try to get crazy yourself. Just yeah. uh, scout really well and uh, try to just basically out mechanic, out macro your opponent. Yeah, um, and huh. even though, uh, sorry about that, even though MMA is down on Harvesters, he actually is catching up pretty quickly because he has two command centers. Yeah. Um, Hyperdev just planted his at his expansion. So uh, MMA actually has, he's got double mules and he's got double production on the SCVs. So he's actually going to catch up in just a moment here. And it's going to come down to if this Banshee does any damage, and it may because he actually is a Starple, but he's got no Vikings, no Engineering Bay, uh, oh, two mules, but if he uses them, he sees it. Oh, he sees it, so he's got two scans that he's not going to use on mules right now. Yeah, well, Hyperdub, no, uh, yeah, MMA sees the Banshee, Hyperdub sees the drop. They are both spotted, so I'll see how they respond. Marauder running out across the map. He's going to get cooked inside his armor. It smells delicious, but it's a horrible way to die. Smells delicious? I don't know. I, I like barbecue. You like barbecued Marauder? I, I, well, that I haven't had. I, but they have a lot of I'm up for a interesting, unique food in Korea, but I haven't had that one. Like barbecued Marauder. Drop coming in for MMA. He's going to charge right up the ramp with these Marines, and there's not a lot there to defend for Hyper. Now, a couple wow. of Marines popping out right wow. now. SCV's making a run for it, and MMA causing some decent damage in the meantime. The Banshee for Hyperdub getting taken out by MMA. Oh. MMA definitely on top of things for now, oh, anyway. No, he's going for the SCVs now. That's he chases right. those down and kills them off. It'd be huge. He's, oh, racking up so many kills. This ghost Ooh. trying to get something ghost done. Uh, oh, those SCVs. Oh, the humanity wow. trapped in the corner. And the Hellion comes in right now. That's going to help clean up some of the Marines, but there's just so much DPS coming out of that. Is he going to be able to get that Banshee? Wow, that was slow. Ouch. And All the right. Banshee's still alive. Oh, is he going to get it? No, the scan wears off. There. And he's actually going to lift and go back over to some more Marines dropping in. Whoa. Right now, Hyperdub has five SCVs, and that was actually really poor control. There's GG coming from Hyperdub. Huh. And MMA, despite some interesting pressure early on, is going to take game one. Yeah. So uh, there's MMA looking... Pretty happy about the results for that game. He's like, what was that? I don't know. He, he's definitely scratching his head a little bit. Hyperdub, maybe scratching his head a little bit as well. Uh, huh. So interesting way to start the day today. Yeah, man. But Hyperdub, um, you know, he tried something new. MMA did exactly what you're supposed to do. He just played cautiously. He played standard and was able to hold it off. Yeah, and, and Hyperdub, yeah. you know, he he tried out that little rush, and I feel like when it didn't work. He had no idea what to do to follow it up because, you know, he tried it out. It didn't work. And then he just kind of fell apart. Marines in his base. He's like, oh, my God, Marines in my base. What do I do? I'll just leave my SCVs here to die for a long time. Yeah, just he didn't the, really move I mean, his SCV was just packed up there for like yep. 30 seconds just getting slaughtered. Like he could have He could have at least run Doesn't them help. out to attack with or something, but he just kind of left them there. Yeah. And he had the advantage a little bit at that. Well, it was at least even. So he didn't need to... Just yeah. let it go like that. But uh, I don't know. That was a weird game. We're yeah. going to have to see if if it's a little bit more normal game coming up. It's going to be on Crevasse. So uh, definitely a bigger map. Definitely something that players can kind of sit back, macro on a little bit more. But the game's getting started. Let's uh, see what happens.